Hey guys, it's Captain Chris Britton, your Grey Ghost Fishing Charters here in Stewart, Florida. Uh, we just got done with the beautiful day of snook fishing here. Uh, water temperature is 87 with light winds, about 10 miles an hour tops. Uh, we are using croakers today. As you can see behind me, there's a jetty. We're just throwing croakers up along the rocks and drifting them down. We caught plenty of big snook, uh, took very good care of them. A lot of the fish we just left in the water and took them off with a de-hooker so they weren't messing up their spawn too much. Uh, we're coming to the end of their spawn at the end of October. There's some big fish out here. Um, there's some tarpon in front of me right here. But uh, so at the end of August is when the snook spawn is usually over. And uh, we're starting to get into our, our bait patterns here. So at the, the middle of September, we get the mullet run. So once those baits come down the beach, a lot of the fish will be on the beach here and then they'll actually feed on the mullet. As the mullet push back up into the river, the snook will eventually follow those, um, that bait back up. And that's where they'll sit with their winter haunts back there. Uh, the water temperature back around the Roosevelt right now and back up near Club Med, it's about 91 to 95 degrees depending on uh, what time of day that you're actually fishing. Um, the bite has still been pretty good back there if you can find the big black mullet schools or snag some mullet and go back there and fish the seawalls. First light, last light has been the best bite back there with water temperatures that warm up that high. A lot of those fish don't like it that hot and they'll actually move back into the cuts and you won't be getting too many bites on top. Uh, out here on the beach, the snook are still cruising up and down the beach, feeding on minnows and little pilchards. Uh, we also have the sea turtles hatching. So a lot of those fish that are those snappers and the snook and the tarpon and the bonitas and kings and all those, all those fish are going to be a little bit shallower. If you can find those pockets of fish, they'll be feeding on the sea turtles. Uh, they're more than willing to eat like a live greenie or a pilchard, uh, even a mullet if you got that working. Um, and if you can find some bunker, they've been liking bunker too. Uh, but we've been catching mutton snappers and as close as like right on the beach, I've caught them inside here this week, uh, 20 to 22 inches while I'm tarpon fishing. And I've been getting them as deep as 80 to 90 foot. There's been a ton of mangrove snapper on these rocks right behind me. If you come in here with little pilchards, uh, alkaline ties seem to be the best and just, or the best and just get a bunch of pilchards and just chum and chum and chum and chum and chum. And you got big, forearm sized mangroves that are coming out and eating ones that you would think that you'd be catching on a reef. Um, the pelagics offshore, uh, the sailfish bite has been hit or miss. You can catch one or two fish. A trip, definitely um, not as on fire as it's been in June and July, but that's typical in August and September. Uh, with not much wind, a lot of the sails don't really like it. And uh, at the towards the end of September, beginning of October is when we start getting those sails back again and we start getting the wintertime sailfish in action. But also the winds start coming with that. Cold weather, northeasters, but it's usually blowing 10 to 30 out of the north. It's not very fun and it's cold and it's rough. But that's sailfish in the wintertime for you here in Florida. Uh, right now we got a lot of the bonitas, a lot of kings, and um, some black fin tunas around. Uh, as the month goes on in September, it's just gonna get better with the black fins. And there'll be some wahoos around feeding on the little bullet bonitas. Um, as far as tarpon fishing goes inside, it's been pretty good. First light and last light again, the same with the snook fishing. Around the bridges has been really good. Uh, back up near Club Med has been good. Down the beach has been good. Uh, around areas like the crossroads has been really good. Uh, live mullets seem to be the key. If you can get a live greenie, two also has been pretty good. Uh, snapper fishing, like I said, on the rocks here, but also at 80 to 90 foot of water, those mutton snappers, been getting them on um, 30 pound fluoro with like a 50, 60 foot leader. And depending on, you know, the, the current, either an 18 to 20 ounce lead on the bottom with a uh, either a dead sardine or a grunt plug, a grunt head. Uh, you know, grunt head's usually better if you got a bunch of sugar fish around because the big heftier meat stays on the hook longer. And that's pretty much it for your Stewart Fishing Report here in Stewart. Go out and catch them up.